you've used the word entanglement in the past to characterize um, this period of contact and post-contact. Um, in what ways does the past remain entangled? Well, the notion of entanglement has been proposed as a way of talking about the contact era, which has implications that somehow there's just this kind of thing. And entanglement is a way of trying to express the notion that individual people were, were enmeshed rather than sort of two sort of uniform blocks of people. And the, and so at the beginning of this, you asked me about native people and archeologists, and so we've become increasingly entangled, if you will. But the fur trade era, in a sense, is an era that kind of set in ways that are probably invisible, but still kind of set our agenda. For example, well, if you're a native person, it really did set your, set your agenda. Everything that, everything that follows, uh, you know, from, from populations going down to three to 400, 500 people, the arrival of the hordes of other folks, I mean, that's, that's, that's there. Um, in the dominant culture, who often are not aware of, of, of Indian people being here, I mean, Indian people ask me, oh, are there Indians here? Um, for example, the issue of environmental management. We occupy an environment which is we, which is managed, but the environment that, that, that we managed was an environment that had lost its managers. And so a whole set of our perceptions about what we're working with is actually not based, it's based on a very, very short time frame. It's based on the fact that Chinook and management practices ended around 1820, 1830. Farmers came in in the 1840s and 1850s and began working with something which had recently ceased to be like firing and stops and all those kinds of things. And we don't have a clue about that. We really don't understand that. Some people say, oh, I don't need to know that. But uh, issues about salmon, there's questions about whether or not there's significant questions like our understanding of, of how to manage salmon, but we don't know the impacts of 10,000 years of native salmon fishing on the fish and then what happens when that's suddenly released uh, in 1830s or later when their numbers collapse. I mean, we don't, so we're thinking about trying to manage to something and we don't know what it is that we're managing to.